maybe soon but for now we do not need money from you to make more videos we are exchanging our items for money just so we can produce more content for you however what we do need from you is your subscription your comment your like and most importantly your share if you do this you are showing us real support or i can even give you famous for free when i see you <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when you subscribe, let us know in the comment box that you've joined our family. We will give you a shout out and mention your name in our next video. Before we go, this video is sponsored by... First Western Plus, talk credit. If you shop in Ghana or you live here already, I recommend this place for you. You can also rent a car from Ivanes Car Rental. They take a few cities and you use their car forever. Call them now and the show. Guys, this is the Shaman Ford. I never knew there was a fort over here, but I'm here now. Abraham, bro, what is the story behind this fort? Okay, um, this fort, as you see here, is called Fort San Sebastian. Um, others to say Fort Saint Sebastian, but we don't know what the actual name is. But for me, I choose to say Fort San Sebastian. It was built in 15, it was built between 1520 and 1526 by the um, Europeans the Portuguese to be precise. So we couldn't finish the story yesterday and then we also couldn't find Famous. Famous didn't come home yesterday. That is so, so, so wrong. And I didn't call him. So today we're going to find him. But we have to, we have to look at this spot right now. And Famous will be the one to show us. But he's nowhere to be found. I'm pretty sure he's, he's at the seashore. Famous! Gosh, that's Famous, man! and 15 what 26 and it was built to capture slaves and it was also used as a trading post by the Portuguese um, how do you call it the Portuguese missionaries who came to West Africa now this fort was built by the Portuguese and we all know uh, some call it Fort San Sebastian others to call it Fort Saint Sebastian now it has been abandoned over here mm -hmm. I don't know do people really visit this place not really People don't visit their place. People don't visit their place. Why? Low patronage and um, um, the indigenous of this town. There are, there are people who have lived here for over 50 years, but I've never visited the fort. Are you serious? I'm very serious about this. There are people who have and lived here. And they don't here. know the story behind this fort? All they know is, nah, um, was it um, slaves groom. That's the only thing they know about the fort. People, people mistakenly call this a castle, but it's a fort. It's not a castle, it's a fort. So there are people who mistakenly call it a castle. And those are the same people who have never been to the castle. I'm sorry, the fort. Who have never been to the fort. All day, they've stayed in Shama for a very long time. But I've never visited the fort. I have much more than 10 friends who have never visited the fort. Really? Yes, please. Guys, I will prove this thing and I also find out if people do call this one a fort or a castle. I'll have to go in the street and find out from people if this one is a fort or a, a castle. castle. Of course, uh, you have to be here and come and see this one too because um, um, it's a tourist site. It's okay to know the history of the community you live in. So if you are in Shamai and you have no idea what this thing is, then I think that's not okay. Let me fall to you, I'll come inside of that. I'll come inside of inside of that. I'll come 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 inside of that. I'll Pasta. Eh, sure. What are you doing? Una. Una. Now, what are you school, sir? Yaba. Yaba, how are you? Now, what's your yaba? Castle. 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 It is interesting to know that half of the people who live in this community do not know the history behind this fort. Some know the name, some do not know the name. 
and most of them too are calling this one a castle instead of a fort. And we just spoke to one guy and what he's saying is that because when you are getting in there you have to pay. Even if you are an indigent and you want to go and learn something you have to pay. But I think at least we can consider the very people who live in this town who have this thing as a symbol of um, a history that has transpired and then um, be given the chance to learn things over here and see what is inside for free. That won't be a bad thing, right? What do you also think? Maybe soon, but for now, we do not need money from you to make more videos. We are exchanging our items for money just so we can produce more content for you. However, what we do need from you is a subscription, your comment, your like, and most importantly, your share. If you do this, you are showing us real support. Or I can even give you famous for free when I see you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> when you subscribe, let us know in the comment box that you've joined our family. We will give you a shout out and mention your name in our next video. Thank you for hosting us. I love Shama. I love Shama. My name is Go. I have this friend over here and famous too. My plan is to go through towns and communities tell their interesting unique stories if you do have the same desire to learn about some of these towns including your town do hit the subscribe button and let's do this together you can also call me i'll show up in your town and i'll see what you have to offer see you very soon and snake please comport <laughs>